Hey folks, welcome back to the Off Grid Workshop. This week in the workshop, we've got a Chazon 798 anniversary line. I was just double checking out the numbers right there, uh, reading it backwards on the screen here. Yeah, so Chazon 798 anniversary line, and we've put a pretty banging system into this motorhome. So I thought I'd take you through everything that we've done and uh, give you a walkthrough. It's now done, clean, ready to go back to the customer and uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to show you everything that we've done here. Let's have a look. So in this motorhome what happens is it comes with a battery under the front seat there, under the passenger seat, and then on a board in the back of the seat behind that grill cover there, it has a Red Arc uh, DC-DC charger which also handles the solar, and then a uh, battery combiner sort of bus bar system for the CBE system. And then in here it has another space for an additional battery. You can see the bolt holes there, the rev nuts, and uh, traditionally you can put a second battery here. It has the wiring for it over there, as you can see, which we've cable tied onto that seat base there. We've taken that out to create some space here for storage, and I'll show you where we've put everything. So here is under the passenger seat. So as I mentioned earlier, normally there's a battery in here. What we've done is we've put in a, an Orion XS, and the MPBT for the system. And then obviously try to do that in a way that there is still space to use this as storage. Uh, on the side there, we've uh, grounded all of the negatives to the seat base. And uh, that's obviously the ground for the Orion and the solar as well. So it has a good ground connection to the negative of the system. And then the positive, we've put a an insulated post on that seat base as well with a cover so it's nice and safe and all of the positives go on there and then we run a single big positive to where we've relocated the batteries and I'll talk you through that now. Here is the heart of the system so we've got two Fogstar 280 amp hour batteries over here with a smart shunt 300 amp uh, on the floor over there and obviously our multiplus two 3 kVA mounted over there so it's a little bit of dead space I guess you technically could potentially use it for the end of a bike or something like that but when we were discussing it with the customer uh, they really wanted the 3 kVA multiplus so that they could run air fryers hair dryer all that sort of good stuff and they also obviously needed two batteries for that because they're going to be pulling quite a lot of power from the system and uh, that then led to originally we were looking at how feasible it was to put the two Foxstar batteries where the original batteries were and then in discussions with the customer we decided that it would be better to relocate the batteries to closer to the inverter you get better performance you have less voltage drop on the wires all that sort of stuff and uh, it then means that the system overall will perform better you also save quite a lot of weight so this would have run the full length of the vehicle which would have been a solid five meter run, uh, which although technically possible for the system and for the inverter to work on that, uh, wouldn't be ideal. And you would add, I'm guessing probably around 50 kilos of wiring, maybe not quite, but at least 30 kilos because you'd have uh, four five meter lengths of 50 millimeter cable. So it's quite a stack of cable that you'd be adding there. Obviously this brings weight towards the rear of the vehicle but when we discussed that and pointed that out with the customer, they said that wouldn't be a problem because they've got air assist suspension on the back and they were looking to upplate the van anyway. So yeah, that's how we're looking, looking pretty good. And up here is what we've got as far as solar is concerned. So we've got one, two, three Victron 185 watt panels and the original 120 watt that came with the van. So that we just left in situ. The customer had Truma aircon fitted, which worked well, and we still had space to put a 185 over there and squeeze in two 185s here. So it takes a total solar capacity to over 600 watts of solar, and they were wired separately. So that we left the wiring exactly as it was going through the roof to the red arc, and then we ran new wires for the new array of the Victron panels. So pretty good, still space for a few other panels as well potentially 390 watts or something like that if they wanted to but they've got a lot of solar so i'm sure they'll be good so there we go folks hopefully you've enjoyed uh walking through this install with us we enjoyed putting it into the van uh it's worked out pretty good and if you have any questions or anything like that or if you have a similar install that you would like us to talk about and uh potentially do for you then we'd love to hear from you otherwise we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching cheers